You should get out of here, Ruby. You're gonna burn to a crisp. Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with Oxygen Not Included, the uh, occupational update or jobs update. And I've done quite a bit of stuff off camera. I wasn't able to record earlier, but I was able to play, so... I set up uh, some lavatories here to replace the outhouses, which is um, kind of keeping the germs at bay. There was a lot of germs piling up from polluted dirt and stuff here. So I'm pretty pleased with that. The piping's pretty elaborate, but uh, clean water comes from this little tank here, feeds the uh, sinks and lavatories, and then the polluted water comes out, gets dumped in this polluted water area here. And I have a hydro sensor pressure switch here. So if the polluted water gets to this level, or 500 kilograms per tile, then it goes up into a sieve right here. And it is also controlled by automation right here. So if this water falls too much, the clean water, it'll kick on. So there's kind of two sets of regulation going on there. Now I did have uh, quite a few issues with heat. So there was hot water coming into the base. I built a lot of stuff up here. So let's scroll all the way up here. There's a lot going on here. I capped my geyser. And it's not, usually I would put a bislet around the whole thing, but this time I left some tile of granite, so some heat is spilling out. And that's because the pressure was just building up and it wouldn't run. So I got a hydro switch here. Uh, if there's 400 kilograms of water in the tile, then it will pump hot water over this way. And the water's at like 95 degrees, so it comes along here and half goes into this cooling tank and half goes off to our electrolyzers over in a different area. So this cooler, some people call this the Zorb or Borg cooler. It's basically a loop of oil and it does use an exploit. Um, without the exploit, it's, it works decently well. With the exploit, it cools really well. So when the temperature in here, when the oil drops, oh, it just kicked in. So when the oil drops, uh, or if the oil is above 10 degrees, this thing kicks on, and all it does is it loops oil through an equatuner, drops it back in, and this metal tile here is the magic. This is what cools things down extremely well. And this thing's actually not doing a whole lot, but I've got thermal plates here with diamond, and this kind of seeps into this water. The ice biome itself kept this really cold, but the ice biome will eventually kind of warm up. And hopefully this thing can keep up. So then cold water comes out of this at around 25 degrees, comes down here. I had it through a valve, I had some excess going in here, but it comes down here, all the way down to the base. This is all abyssalite to keep the water cool. And this is mainly feeding our plants. And the plants don't use a whole lot of water, so it's not taxing our geyser yet. And this number of plants seems to be enough for 15 dupes. We're, we're hovering at around 100,000 calories and it's been pretty steady. Temperature in the base is around 22, 25-ish, which is kind of just on the edge. If it gets above 30, then these plants stop growing. What else do we have? We have wheeze warts uh, in certain places, cooling things down even more. This probably isn't necessary now that I have cold oxygen coming in. Oxygen's coming in at 20 degrees on this line and 27 degrees on this line, which is a little bit warm. Now the base is super well pressurized. We don't have any oxygen issues. I am cooling the oxygen, one of the lines here in this thermoregulator. You can see it going through here. So it's coming in at 34, coming out at 20. It's this other line that's a little bit warm. And up here, more diamond shift plates to try to get the coolness from this nullifier spread across all our machines. And it's working decently well, not the best though. We might want another wheeze order too, or extend the diamond plate. I feel like this isn't doing as much as it used to. I could put it in a sealed room of hydrogen but uh, I don't think I'll do that. CO2 is being 
consumed by this uh, one carbon skimmer here. It's been keeping up. Could always build two, I guess. And this polluted water from the natural gas generators, it goes off into our fertilizer makers. Now I was filtering it before, cleaning it in a sieve and sending that into the electrolyzers, but now that we hooked up our geyser, we're sending 95 degree water into our electrolyzers here. I have a third one here, but I, I haven't hooked it up. I haven't needed to. Plenty of oxygen. Now, the name of the game has been cooling. Tons and tons of cooling. Now, I have been doing exploring. Let's zoom out a bit here. I still have some areas to expose up here. And way, way down here, there's a lot. But I have exposed kind of over here. Now, I do have a plan for this video. I want to build... Um, I want to link my two main grids. So I've got a main grid here, which has two natural gas generators and the steam turbine. I want to link this grid to my other big grid. And way up here, I'm going to, I've d dug a tunnel here. I want to go up here with a heavy watt wire and all the way up here and all the way over and link the grids. And hopefully I have enough metal to do it raw metal. We have uh, lots of gold. So let's speed things up. Gold amalgam, 76 tons. I should probably start that that main line. So, oh, and we found one of these things. I should send a dupe in here. Get get one of our, our boosts. So we'll do heavy watt wire with gold. We have tons of gold, so I'll go up here. Now I actually don't want to open this up yet, or dupes will come down in this area where they're not supposed to be. I only want the exosuit guys to build in here. So I guess I could continue that on. Yeah, we got. I think we'll have enough gold. Come up here. Now this small wire is in the way, we'll get rid of that. Not really using that anymore. There's no oxygen in here for these guys. I could put I could put exosuits in for all this other area. But they're really slow in the exosuits, so I'd rather just let them hold their breath. There is oxygen on the way, so they're able to breathe. Now the other thing I want to do is get uh, snazzy suits going, because that'll help with their stress. We do have lots of reed fiber. And I want to get tubes going. Now that we have a bunch of plastic, they've been busy down in the oil area. Making plastic down here. So I'm thinking of putting a little a launch pad here. Transit tube access, maybe right here. And then have the tube go up along this side. So once Travalo levels up, he's at 91%. I hope he'll be able to come over to Mechatronics. I'm not sure if he'll be able to, but um, if not, then he has to train up some courier a bit, and then he can get in here. So he's close, and working on this machine will, uh, will help with things. So we'll build this, and then we need a tube. Tube transport. See, we've got 6,700 plastic. Could zoom up this way. And where should we dump people? For now, maybe just here. I think we can go sideways like this. We'll see how that goes, and then eventually we'll maybe extend it all the way up through here. Got some stuff in the way. I should probably pump out this CO2. I mean, it hasn't been an issue yet. It's staying below below this line. Oh, suffocating. Oh, I wonder who that was. The game is getting much laggier. I just did a fresh reload of the game, and it's already slow. So, It is a preview build, so it'll turn off all the debugging stuff when they go live. And it should speed everything up. I also want to build some gold roads. So I started it here. Now, 
Oh, suffocating. Oh, she's very confused. I think she'll be okay. We should really send the CO2 down to the Slicksters. Oh, it, it's kind of cold though, but once this tunnel is built down here, we could send it directly down to some Slicksters. That's going to take them a long time to build all that though. So yeah, my gold road. I've started it here. This gold tile, it has a... If we go under gold has decor plus 50% and it has a run speed bonus of plus 50. I think any metal tile actually, it doesn't have to be gold, but decor plus 15, yeah. Any metal will do, any refined metal. So I want, uh, since they go along this path pretty often, it could be nice to have a nice fast path here. And maybe even a tube eventually. We get enough plastic. I still haven't built a proper medical wing, but we haven't had any sickness, so not a big deal. Oh yeah, and hatches. Now that we have uh, the traps and stuff, I've moved some hatches down here. So any polluted dirt that falls out of the sieve, they gobble it up. For coal, how's our coal? We got 72 tons of coal. Oh, sand is a bit low. Sand got down to 20 tons and then I mined a big block of it. But let's get those uh, suits going. That's what I want to do. So where do we have excess power? Right here, maybe? Power consumed 85 watts. We're not really using this line much, so... We can put it right here. Stations. I want a textile loom. Copper's good. Wow, why is the game so slow? Really lagging. And power. I should probably let this hatch go and then we can trap him in this trap I've already laid. Getting like 10 frames per second. Okay, priority five on this. Let's check our room bonuses. Someone mentioned I can build the lights down one tile and kind of get more of a radius out of them. Oh, I got double lights here. And that's a good idea. I didn't really plan my farms out very well this time. I just kind of built them as I went. Oh, got more suffocating. Should probably mop this up. Too much liquid. Hmm. There is stuff melting still above. Oh, how's the temperature here? Decent. Hypothermia. I did add some granite tiles here so that the water pools a little bit. That helps with cooling. Let's see how this is going. Oh, the oxygen is really warm actually. We need more cooling. Now there is another nullifier I found down here. Where was it? It's right in here. So we could dig in there and get it to do some work. Okay, we got our textile loom already. Let's do snazzy suits. Priority five. Someone will make them. Oh, here comes Stinky. We got 592 wheat fiber. Oh, there goes there goes Trivaldo 2. Oh yeah. So someone said Trivaldo 2 is not a very good name and they suggested a name I can use, so I'll grab that. So Trivaldo 2 is now known as Crypto Guru. And if any of you want your dupes named, uh, let me know. And I'd be happy to name them. I know a lot of people do that in streams and in videos. You can be in the video too. We got some serious lag now. 10 frames per second. 
And we got our suits being made. How many do we have now? We got two made. Let's get bubbles in one. That'll keep their uh, moods up. Stress low. How's food? 112. Flooding. Uh-oh, we got a little bit of flooding. Now, there's already a bunch of water in this petroleum, so I'll just... I'll just do this. This door's full of stuff as well. Now, I did have a pump and filter for this natural gas, but... Okay, that's priority one. I don't know if anyone can actually... come and build this. I might add some more exosuits to this. Holy... Look how fast uh, Ruby is compared to Abe. Abe is like a slowpoke. Suffocating. Oh yeah, so I put in a second CO2 scrubber here. We'll put a wheezewort beside it just so it stays cool. That should bring down that CO2 level. And we really should send that CO2 down to the Slicksters, so I'm building out this pipe here. And eventually we'll connect it, and we'll connect those power grids together. So the lower, the lower power, power grid has a lot of excess power going. If we look at it, it's producing up to 4.2 kilowatts, and it's only consuming... Uh, like a couple hundred watts at this at this moment. So once we connect the other grid, we check the grid at the top. So this grid is using around four kilowatts, and it's producing at five at the moment. So the uh, the two grids are finally connected here. If we look at this heavy watt wire, we can see. Here we go. Uh, power produced 7.2 kilowatts over 10. Power consumed about 5. Potential 6. So th this is good. Uh, it took them a while to build all the heavy watt wire, but uh, now our grids are linked. I, I kept them apart here. I didn't want dupes coming into the lower half this way. Only dupes with exosuit should go in this bottom half. That worked out pretty well. They got a little stressed out on the way, but not too bad. A few suffocation warnings. Now, I think we are running out of polluted water, but I'm not certain here. We should have more now that we have uh, two scrubbers online. Water at 39 degrees. Why is this water 39 degrees? Oh, it's coming from here. Oh, we're just filtering it. I should actually be using geyser water, I think. I think we can spare it. Because this way we're using up our polluted water, but I guess we're returning it because we're scrubbing with it. Actually, that should be okay. That should be neutral. If this starts to run low, I'll just tap into the geyser water for these. And what else were we doing? Uh, new, new suits for the dupes. So how many do we have here? Uh, oh, they made quite a few. Okay. Let's get everyone dressed. There goes Ellie. Yay, now she's all snazzy. Who else do we got here? Frankie, you're up. The way they manage clothing is pretty... suboptimal. <laughs> be nice if they, if they had like a wardrobe wardrobe room or whether you could do it from like this vitals it's kind of a hassle to do it one by one here you can't assign multiple at a time I don't think wow stinky's on the table stress nine percent what I guess his stress was Higher, that's why he jumped on there. Now he's idle. Does no one have five idle? No one's got work to do. That's a first. Not no one, but... Some people are idle. Okay. How's this tube network going? Oh, one more piece, I think. 
Oh yeah, it's ready to go. Oh, it's hooked up. Oh yeah, it's hooked up to the main grid. Perfect. How hot is it in here? 41. I used to have all of my batteries here, but I moved them over. So will they use this? That's the question. I think it's a valid exit point. Oh, it looks like he just came up here manually. I want to see someone use it. So we should, we should probably set this priority 5 and maybe someone will come down and do some work. Let's make it 5 star because I have no patience. I want to see someone use this new tube. Oh, here comes... Oh, he used it! Yay! What? He came down and went right back up. Okay, what's... Who's this? Ruby. What are you doing? Collecting stuff? Oh, I can't keep up with you. One sleet wheat grain. Way to go. That was worth the journey. Okay, are you going to take the tube? Yay. <laughs> I might put an access point in here and have a tube all the way over here. We'll see. The other thing I want to try doing is putting a steam turbine in the steam geyser room. Because we got, so we sometimes get steam in here. It'd be a pretty easy exercise just to just like plop it in here and see if it works. And we're close to our main grid, so we could uh, hook that up. Hmm. So how how big is this thing? We don't need any more power, but I'm just curious whether it'll even work. So if we stuck it right here. Need to dig around it a bit. Something like that. Need some ladders so they can build it. And then seal this little nib up here. And then once it's all in there, I'll seal this and we can crack open in between the two up top. Now that might consume all the steam that we're using for water, so that would be bad. But I have a feeling this thing, once it gets its steam, it uh, it doesn't actually consume it. That's probably a bug, but... So let's just uh, move this down like this. So they can get there. What priority did I set that? Let's do it all five. So yeah, I'll set that up and see if they can actually do it. And I'll extend the tube network and I'll be back in a bit. Oh no, they're burning. The dupes are burning in here. I forgot how hot it was. It's like 74 degrees. I think they'll survive though. Oh, Stinky's gone down to 67 hit points. Okay, Stinky's uh... Maybe has to go in the medical cot for a while. Ah. No. Oh, look at Ruby. Moderate wounds. She took a lot of damage. Okay. Maybe this was a bad idea. I don't remember the damage being that bad before. Okay. Uh. You should get out of here, Ruby. You're gonna burn to a crisp. I don't like how they're... Like, burning themselves to death. Oh, look at her. She's gonna die. No. 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 Okay. Cancel that. <laughs> Cancel that. Ruby, you go here. Do not burn. Do not burn. Where is she going? Severe wounds. Go home, Ruby. Everyone go home. What are they doing? Okay, we need an exosuit dock here, I think. Or... What? Oh, she's coming back! 
Ruby wants to commit suicide. Ruby. Go here. Okay, we need to block them out of here. They're just trying to grab all this stuff. Oh man, look at them all. <laughs> oh, here comes Ruby again. What a dedicated servant. Okay, how many hit points does she have? Health! She has three health left. Well, that uh, jobs menu took about two minutes to open. Okay, Ruby, you are not allowed to do anything. Where are you? No building, no supply, no dig. You will be going straight to the medical cot. And if you come back in here, what is she doing? She wants to go over here. She's not allowed to do anything. I think the game is broken. Move. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you to move all the way down here to the medical cot. You go there. There she goes. And I'm gonna have to block this area off. It's just too warm for them. And I might set up an exosuit dock so they can actually go in there and dig that. The steam literally took off like most of her health. I could also put a wheeze ward in there and try to cool it down. That might take a while though. So I'll do that off camera and try to rebuild this with exosuits maybe. Look at Marie, she's Speedy Gonzalez. This is normal speed. Look at her go, look at her go. It's a race to the finish line. I hope she can get to her food in time. Calories. Oh yeah, she's got 200 calories in her, in her tummy. You can do it, Maria. You can do it. Go. And on fast speed, look how fast she is. Some dupes were not meant to wear exosuits. What are her stats? Athletics minus six. Go, Marie, go! Oh, Nicholas is even faster. Okay, maybe only certain people should be allowed in here. I think I need to put a door on here and only allow our exosuit people in here. Because they're just too slow otherwise. Like Marie, look at her. I'm not allowed to wear exosuits. Okay. Get out of there. You. Get out of there. Okay, who are our exosuit? I'm afraid to hit the jobs menu. Here we go. We're going to allow Abe and Stinky and Ruby. And that's it. Abe. Stinky. And Ruby. That way we won't get slow pokes wearing wet, uh, wearing, I almost said wetsuits, wearing exosuits. Because they're just too slow. I really hope they buff running speed or fix that, because dupes are basically useless without it. And sure, we could build a plastic tunnel up there. That's one way around it. But you can't build plastic tunnels in really hot areas, so it wouldn't help a whole lot. Okay, who's in there? Max is in there. What is he doing? Is he having a coffee break? Max, what are you doing? You're idle. Oh, you're just gonna hang out there. 
Unreachable bed. Oh, they can't get out. So who needs to get out? Uh, I should allow everyone access out in case they get trapped in there. Yeah, default. Uh, yeah, everyone can get out. No one can go in. Oh, look how slow Nickel is. It's painful. Painful. Now I, I would put a pole along here, but we're not going to be up here much. I noticed this area was getting pretty warm. 30 degrees. This water, 32. So I set the regulation to be minus 10. And I put in some metal tiles, so that should, in theory, cool this. I could try to circulate the oil through this room. That might help. Yeah, so I might try to circulate this oil through this water. See if that helps. Because it's not keeping up with the cooling. We could put a few ice sculptures in. Let's do that for now. Furniture, ice block. Oh, we don't want it in the oil. I guess, I guess that's the only place we can put it right now. That'll drain in. I could put a wheeze wart or two in here. Could put a wheeze wart right here. Oh, Stinky came up and then went for lunch. Could put a wheeze wart in here. I don't know if it's going to help a whole lot. Oh yeah, that bug. Priority five. We gotta heal Ruby up, big time. You're going straight to bed. Look at her, what is she doing? What is she doing? Go here. Okay, this is assigned to Ruby. Get healed. Wow. That was a near death experience. Severe wounds. Okay, who else is in bad condition? Stinky. Get in bed. And Bubbles. Get in bed. And who just mastered their job? Trivaldo, yay. Okay, Trivaldo, can you do Metatronics now? No, I think he has to be a courier first. Oops. Travaldo courier? You can be gopher, but why can't you be courier? Travaldo gopher. Oh, maybe because we have two couriers. Travaldo? Oh, 41%. Okay. I guess you can't have two more than two couriers, even though some of these other professions you can have three. Makes no sense. That'll have to be saved for next episode because um, then we can get into all that uh, conveyor system stuff if we can get Trivaldo leveled up. I'll level him up off camera just so we don't have to wait for that next time. Ruby's taking forever to heal. Oh, I should build a proper medical bay. Now, does the pharma chamber heal them faster, or is it just for disease? Pharma chamber. Just diseases. Well, I think I'll wrap things up. This is kind of a sad state of affairs here. <laughs> and uh, we'll continue on next time. And next time I'm going to work with conveyor belts. That's the goal. And there's a, I have a lot of plans for conveyor belts to automate a bunch of stuff. So we'll do that next time. 
As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.